Welcome to Your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 707. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book but you need some help getting it done, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, look for Christine Inc., like that stuff we write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they can turn someone who doesn't even really see themselves as a writer into a published book author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. To practice any art, no matter how well or badly, is a way to make your soul grow. So do it. Kurt Vonnegut, one of my favorites for sure. So let's talk creativity today and creating. You know, if you're a person, like I assume all of us, a person who is creating regularly, it's not always going to work out, unfortunately. The creativity channels are going to get blocked. You're going to question every bit of your creative talent. And yes, other people are going to question it too sometimes. There will be times when it just doesn't work out. And if you create for a living like I do, when it doesn't work out, it's a far more serious situation because there is money and career reputation at stake. You know, I remember a handful of times much earlier in my career, during the all-purpose copywriting years of my career, (laughs) when for whatever reason, it simply wasn't a love match between the work I was producing and what the client had in mind. At the time, it can be heartbreaking and scary and frustrating and definitely can leave you feeling rather helpless. Creativity can be a fickle monster. So much of the time, it is finding a puzzle piece match. That's how I kind of picture it in my mind. A puzzle piece match between writer and reader, or in the case of business, writer and client, that is in alignment. So don't beat yourself up when the puzzle pieces don't align. Find the lessons, move on, and above all, keep creating. I've also learned as a professional writer of nearly 20 years that in creativity, as in life, there is always a learning curve. So once the emotions pass and you're feeling more level-headed and less judgmental about yourself and less judged in general, that's the time to go back and look at your work and how you can improve next time. And there's the key phrase, next time. In life and work, there are no do-overs, so obsessing over the rearview mirror and praying for a time machine to do it all again is neither productive nor emotionally healthy. Get the lessons and move on. And now I'm really speaking to my fellow professional creatives here. Just because your words aren't a fit for one particular client situation or your graphic designs or your photographs or other creative deliverables, this does not mean that you're not good at what you do. Keep learning, keep growing, keep creating. It's all part of the process. Also, realize that creating is the most subjective and personal type of collaboration that exists. If someone doesn't like your work, there is such a big slice of that assessment that is personal, biased, and sometimes even subconscious. Keep creating, keep reading, keep learning your craft, and keep growing. You can look at the dramatic range of reviews on the average book. Like if you go to just pick a book on on Amazon and you can see the range of one stars to five stars and see just how completely subjective creativity is. And here's another angle on this. For those of you who hire creatives, and that's, I think, most of us, you need help with your websites or design or writing, or just if you are a person who hires creative creatives, keep this in mind as well. This is why possibly even more important than the work, when you are hiring a creative, here's the important advice here. When you are hiring a creative, make sure there's a love match between your perspectives and to a point your personalities. The work will become what the two of you make it together. It's the collaboration that creates the magic. There's no perfect creative superhero out, superhero out there who can solve all your problems simply because of their incredible talent. It is a two-way street, and you both need to be on it together for the length of the project. So that's kind of a curvy creative rant today, covering a lot of things, everything from authors to professional creatives to people who hire creatives, I realize this, but hopefully some good nuggets for everyone about the true subjective nature of creativity. Whether you are creating on your own for yourself and your readers, or you're creating for a living, or you're working with creatives as part of your job. Be patient, keep learning, 
and seeking, and above all, enjoy the process. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And please drop by my Ink Authors group on Facebook and let us know how we can support your writing goals. And also to my regular listeners here, all, all my listeners, if you feel so obliged, I, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to the show, Your Daily Writing Habit, wherever you're listening, and leave a review as well. Thank you. Until tomorrow, happy writing. <laughs>